guys, welcome to another vlog. It is another round, it's round three. We're back at Winton. We've got reverse track. We just arrived here, it's bumping. Weather is on. Car is on. We've got a few different tri tires, some Zenk Novas. Got some Max Trex. Nice and cold, nice and fresh. Let's see how cold start is. See how the cold start is. Should be perfect. Well, Russ is losing his job. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take the sticker off the back. Oh, it's fucking shocking. Get unloaded, do we get a feed, come back tomorrow and do some skits. Alright, it's qualifying day practice and it's pissing down rain. Welcome to Winton. <laughs> The forecast was nice and sunny, it's supposed to be 17 degrees, but it's raining again, but we are here, we're here to race, so I mean conditions are what they are, we'll go out and send it, it's a brand new track, looks a bit daunting coming into the first big outer, so we'll get out there and see how Just haven't been feeling it, the track. Uh, it's been difficult to get the line right. Uh, some good runs followed by bad ones going off the track. Just serves up your confidence a bit. Um, but we are 17th. We missed out on a point for the qualifying, or points for qualifying in top 16. We got Mo El Huli. Um, it should be fun. Um, if we happen to get through that, we got the top qualifier Brody. So. I, I did some runs with him, he's super fast. Yeah, probably the end of our weekend already, but <laughs> we'll just... I'll throw it down with Maui and see what happens. Hello and welcome Drift fans. We are at Winton Motor Raceway for three of the High Tech Drift All-Star Series for 2023. My name's Tony Bishop and I'm joined here with Matthew Chung. Chunga, what are you excited to see today? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chunga and I'm super excited here today to see some crazy cars, epic battles, and you know what? It's very special new layout. That is right, a brand new, never seen, never drifted before layout at Winton Motor Raceway. We're straight and into the front S's 
backwards, downhill, in reverse, and it is all about the outside clipping zones. Lots of tyre smoke, lots of big fill zones, and it really promotes close door-on-door -door drift battles. A fantastic layout that we've never done, and I, every driver is just so excited to do this layout. But these conditions were really challenging yesterday. Chunga, tell us about the weather. Mate, yesterday was not like today. Today look, is looking fantastic. Yesterday was super wet. Cars were coming off the track left, right, and center. It wasn't ideal, but thankfully, by the end of the day, for practice, the guys were making some smoke, and it was fantastic. But now today, even better. More smoke, more action, more draw and direction. Absolutely spot on. It's great to have such beautiful weather here at Winton Raceway, but let's check out the Pro Championship standings so far for the 2023 series. Winton Motor Raceway, it is round three. High-tech drifting, All-Stars Championship Series. What a fantastic day we've got out there. It is beautiful blue skies. My name's Tony B, and I'm joined here with my mate, Sugar. How are you, buddy? Mate, I'm fantastic. So good to be here at Winton Raceway. We've been here for many, many years drifting, mm -hmm. and something special is on today, isn't there? Look, when we're out this round, obviously it's the midway part of the season, all that sort of stuff, but this is a brand new, brand new layout, and it is down the front straight, backwards uh, on the outside clipping zone. You're seeing some action on screen right now, but that is... Outside, outside clipping, clipping zones, zones running, running this track, track in reverse, like it's, it's never, never been done before. before. And the guys on the uh, in, in the crew, crew were just like, "Hey, how do we? Driven it, which, which is super, super awesome. awesome. Now, now, if you, you are here at the track, track we'd love to see you guys down there on the fence. We really appreciate you. Certainly give the drivers a bit of a wave as you go by. But if you are tuned in on the live stream, we uh, we can see your information. We've got a little screen here. We're going to try and get as many uh, points in that you're commenting via the live stream. We'll try and communicate back. We'll give you guys a bit of shout out. So thank you guys so much for tuning in nice and early. Uh, there's a whole bunch in there, Angus Kidd. I just hope everyone has fun, he says on the live chat. Uh, good on you, mate. We hope everyone has a good time, too. But uh, what you're seeing on track at the moment is Ben Hodges from Queensland putting down a bit of a lead run and Mo El Hawley from Victoria through some laps. Hearing line again this morning, and just a couple of little things. Uh, once he got his head around all that, I mean, today he's been absolutely mint. But we are going to send Bully and Ben Hodges out for a bit of a battle. Mo in that blue S13, pushing nice and wide. You can see him right on the edge of the circuit, hangs onto it, and then the switch back through turn two, which is our third and fourth clipping zone, and then right onto the outside part of the circuit for the final full fill zone around that last corner and over the finish line. What a run. These drivers doing a fantastic job out there. Mate, yeah, I'm keen to see these guys pushing hard, like, at the start, you know, they might have taken it easy, you know, just kind of getting into the groove, yes, but once we start getting to the pointy end, we're going to see lots of smoke, lots of action, and hopefully some door rubbing. Well, that's just it. So this is our tri replay, we're seeing Mo there in the lead, and I, I believe the Tyworks team, they've gone ahead and taken his massive horsepower engine out, and they're using that for something else, so I didn't actually quite get what they were using it for, but it's not, they had to, they had a turbo... Massive, massive built turbo, turbo car. We made heaps and heaps of power. This one's an NA 
he got ham and head work and a few other bits and pieces. So um, as a naturally aspirated package, it still makes plenty of power by the looks of things. Chalk in the tyres and Benny Hodges running the 2JZ engine in the Link ECU-backed uh, it's the so, so yeah, yeah both, both both really cool competitors. competitors. Uh, might, might have been their first battles or first time driving this weekend. weekend. I don't think I've seen those guys drive any laps this weekend, weekend yet. All right, so, so Benny Hodges is, is going to be starting, starting gate, gate this time. time. So, so as, as you can see, the entry we've got down there, and we run a speed gate. So the guy in the lead run, which is Ben Hodges here, taking out, will be on the right hand or left hand side of the screen, right hand side of the track. Entry down, down into, into the corner. corner. He is absolutely, absolutely moving, moving, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Hodges out in the lead. Mo Al Hall is going to do everything he can. He's allowed to trim a little bit of line to play catch up, but Ben Hodges running that really wide out line and over the finish line. Fantastic run by those drivers there. Mo Hawley right behind him. There's Ben Hodges in the lead. Ben Hodges putting out a good lead run, nice and wide. What the judges want. They want to see them out. On those pinning points, like we said earlier on, those guys heading out, nice and wide, giving space to that chase car to get on door. Yeah, that's it. It's the, the whole point of what competition is, is we want to get these guys as close as possible. So we're on the tri replay now having a look. Now Mo is taking a slightly shallower line so that he can close up that proximity. That's... Whew. Ah, uh, that was an effort. Rerun with Moe. First one felt good. Um, again, had a few mistakes, but then mine one was a bit. The lead was a bit wishy-washy. Went again. Yeah, it felt good. Hopefully, it looks <laughs> on the camera. And uh, we got Brody next, so that's a tough one. We're just gonna send it, and see what happens. Winton, around three, run one, done. Uh, Shembury, the chef, got on the top step. Dale Campaign, uh, good to watch, fun to watch, but just wasn't my weekend, just wasn't feeling in the groove. Couldn't get the line down. Had a good battle with uh, Maui, went one more time, ended up getting the win. Then we had Brody, bloody rocket ship of an SR powered car and blew us away, so. I mean, wasn't disappointed, tried hard to battle him, but just don't have the pace. Don't have the pace, don't have the skill, but 